everybody, what's up? Me, Jason Howell, out here at the dog park with my dogs. I'm not just like a dog park stalker. <laughs> They're running around. You know, the dog park is next to uh, an airstrip here in Petaluma. Anyways, I'm walking around and I realize I'm having a like an internal dialogue with myself. And instead of that, I feel like, hey, why not just open up a recording and have that dialogue with you? Because I'm thinking about some things that are actually really important when it comes to the channel and, and what we do as content creators. And oh, a new dog just suddenly swooped up on me. There it goes. <sighs> and here's what's on my mind. I'm almost a year into you know, doing this independent content creator thing. In some ways, I'm really proud of where things are at a year later. In other ways, I think I expected things to be a little further along than they are. You know, the truth of the matter is I've made very little in the way of income this last year. And you know, when you're starting a business, it's just kind of often part of the deal. But I do have a family. You know, I do have a responsibility to contribute to the bottom line of the family. And, you know, I keep looking for opportunities and pathways to explore when it comes to the channel. And here's kind of the, the quandary, the, the challenge, the difficulty of where I'm at right now. You know, I've got the channel to around 5,000 subscribers. Not an insane amount, but it's not nothing. Like, I'm, I'm proud of that, I built that up. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I think no matter where you are in this journey, you hope to be further than you are. <laughs> it's like the grass is always greener a little bit further down the, down the field, it's just the way it goes. Um, but I am, you know, constantly looking for ways to, you know, continue to actually make that income. How can I grow my income, my opportunity? It's not just AdSense on the YouTube channel, it's all sorts of things. And one of those things is of course, brand deals. Brand deals in the creator space. And you know, it's weird. It's a topic that I almost feel reluctant to talk about openly like this, because it feels like a taboo subject. It feels like creators often kind of hide from this conversation because they don't want to address it. I don't know if it's they don't want to put their foot in their mouth or if they don't want to reveal something about how they do business and their ethical stance and how that squares up with their ethical practices. Um, it's almost like, you know, when you work at a job and no one talks about their pay, you know, and I think that attitude is changing, but I think the legacy kind of belief is no, you don't, you don't do that. Right. I feel like it's the same thing when it comes to, uh, ethics in the creator space around brand deals and that sort of stuff. And here's where I'm at. You know, I've worked for CNET and for Twit, two companies that have had teams that did a lot of the business for me so I could just focus on content. I was a salaried employee. You know, I made a good living on a salary. What that ultimately meant is that I never had to think about the impact of a review on my business, right? I get a product and it's just, what do you think about the product? And I give it a fair review. And that's how I've always treated reviews. I use it, I integrate it into my life. And does it do what it promises? Are there things that I like? Are there things that I don't like? The dogs are going nuts around my, my feet right now. <laughs> so I might trip. That's always been my approach. And I feel like that's the fairest approach, right? People who follow my work, they wanna know, like, what did I think of the product? Did I like it? Would I recommend it? Would I spend my money on it? Um, and so that's how I always approach product reviews. From day one, that's always been my approach. Well, so my channel isn't huge, but apparently it's big enough to start attracting certain correspondents from different hardware vendors who have products that definitely fall into the realm of what my channel is all about. You know, I'm getting some emails from companies about their smartwatches that I've never heard of or a brand that I'm vaguely familiar with 
or you know e-ink devices or whatever the case may be I th- um, AI services you know all these emails coming through and often with them there is the proposal to you know work out some sort of an arrangement and usually what that means is you know can we give you money so that you'll talk about our product and this is the quandary right this is the brand deal as it were and people who I highly respect, you know, who do the creator thing, there are a lot of them that wouldn't even touch this with a 10 foot pole. They specifically call it out in their ethical statement and say, we will not do a review that is paid for. Full stop. And I get it, you know, um, if a company pays you X number of dollars to review their product, are you more likely to give it a, a positive review? You know, how much does the um, relationship with the company play into your opinion on the device or the relationship of the money that you've received play into your opinion of the device? Having said that, when it comes to the creator space, brand deals are a huge uh, avenue for actually making a business out of this work, right? Right. It's multiple streams of income. That's just one of the streams of income, but that happens to be a very big uh, potential stream if you tap into it. Of course, the risk there is eroding trust. You don't want to you know, make these decisions that are gonna erode your trust as a creator with your, with your audience. And that's really important to me. I don't want to make decisions that erode your trust in me. Because at the end of the day, you, I mean, you're everything to what I'm doing. If I don't have you, I don't have anything. And so it's really important to me. And, um, you know, at the same time, I've been doing this a year. I'm not making much money. And here, is, here are these opportunities that come up to actually make some money. It's not a huge amount of money, not at the level that I'm at right now, but it is, I mean, at the, (laughs) when compared to the amount that I'm currently making, you know, it's considerable enough to make me go, God, you know, it's really hard after all this time of not making much to suddenly have this opportunity to make something and to say no, to turn it down, you know, square that up with my own kind of ethical beliefs and apologies because now there's another plane flying overhead. let that pass a little bit but square that up with my kind of ethical considerations and it makes for kind of a confusing decision to be made now I guess the question is if a company pays you for a review pays you to look at their product and they have no say no editorial insight which is something that I always insist on right I will give a fair review no editorial checks no you must say these things about the device, none of that stuff. It's you send me the product and I'll share how I actually feel about it. Um, Good or bad, right? Does the exchange of money influence that? And I would say that it's easy for me to say no, because I haven't done that. Um, And because my reviews process has always been the same. It's always been exactly what I've spelled out for you. So if that's all clarified upfront in a deal to say, yes, I will take a look at your product. Um, yes, you, you have offered to pay me this, uh, but it does not give you any sort of, you know, access to the content, access to what I say about it or any of that. Then in my mind, I'm not doing anything different than I was doing before. I'm just making a living. But the end of the day I don't want to do that if that uh, has the potential to damage my credibility with my audience with you you know is that something you you care deeply about if it's done in an ethical straightforward manner if it's disclosed in a video you know it properly disclosed to say hey I'm looking at this product by the way this company paid me to look at this product this is a sponsored 
uh, product review or whatever it is, is that enough for you? Is that enough for you to say, okay, yeah, I get it. I understand what's going on here. You're looking at this product. I trust you uh, to look at it fairly, even though you've, you know, there's been money that is exchanged. Anyways, this whole conversation feels weird to just be putting out on blast, but maybe that's why it needs to happen because these conversations don't happen on blast often enough in this industry. And I think that's because people are afraid to ask the questions that I'm asking right now of their audience because they're afraid of how their audience is gonna to respond to it and interpret it and make judgments about me, a creator, posing a, a conversation or a question around this topic to the audience. I haven't made up my mind on this. I'm firmly in the, God, I just really don't know what to do because I'm, I'm torn. But I know my ethical status. I know where I stand when it comes to uh, ethics in reporting and in product reviews and all that. I know that I will always speak my truth. It's just part of who I am and part of who I am as a professional uh, product reviewer and content creator is just is who it is who I am. Uh, so I have no doubts about that. But I think perception is reality. And it isn't just about me and how I feel going into a relationship like this. It's also about you and how you perceive me to be going into a potential contract like this with a company. Um, and that's why I'm bringing it to you. So thanks for listening <laughs> to my dog park ramblings. Um, let me know, drop a comment down below. Let's, I want this to be a conversation. I'm super curious. Again, I haven't made up my mind on this. Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out as I'm, you know, trying to make my way in this, in this business that I find myself in. Uh, what do you think? Drop a comment down below. Let me know. This is a conversation that can continue, uh, beyond just this point. And yeah, I just want to know where you stand because again at the end of the day you're <laughs> if I don't have you I don't have anything and I mean that <laughs> he's like he's like oh my god that creator's talking about something really uncomfortable we got to get out of here get on the plane let's go all right I'm gonna rescue my dogs they're wondering why I'm talking into my phone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for dropping your comment down below and sharing how you feel about this and being a part of the community. Um, a community that I hope to continue to build and uh, continue to have you as an integral uh, part of it. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.